Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Christmas Eve, and it is, might I say, absolutely beautiful today. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I live in Georgia, and um, it has been the wettest, coldest, um, like, winter we've ever had, I think. Like, I know we've not ever had this much rain. It's ridiculous, but today is absolutely beautiful, guys. Um, it is 55 degrees today right now, and that is huge because it's been freezing cold. Let's see right there on my thermometer. It is 55 degrees. Hopefully it's not turned sideways. Not really sure. Um, so what's up, guys? Um, so a few things that I've, that I've kind of been wanting to talk about, but I just haven't, um, <clears throat> there's just been too much other stuff going on. So, um, first, I want to tell everybody Merry Christmas from me and my fam to you guys, okay? Um, but my question is with the whole DSO everything, like, where is Nestbook? Like, if you guys follow the DSOs, Derek Deso, Deso Daily, Deso Family, um, any of any of that, um, and most of the time, like Life of Mocha, um, they're all really great friends, Derek, Matt, and Nesbook. But I mean, I know just like uh, with Derek's last video of him saying that he was sorry. Um, he went and seen, you know, his best friend, Nesbook, in the hospital. Um, so, obviously, I know he's in the hospital, but, like, why? You know what I mean? Like, I remember seeing a video a long time ago, and he was in the hospital. Like, excuse me. Oh, my God. Like, Nesbook, are you okay? Like, what is going on with you? Like... I thought when I seen you um, in the hospital a couple of months ago, may have even been longer than that, I thought. Um, it was just like an overnight, in and out type of deal. Like, are you in the hospital for like a while or what is going on? Um, like, I hope you guys are, I mean, I hope you are okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'm just really confused of uh, uh, what's going on here. Um, and as most of you know, yes, I'm on my way to work. This is like talking with Audie <laughs> um, before I get to work. So, you know, deal with it. But yeah, seriously, where's, where is Nesbook? Like, I'm just wanting to know like is he okay is something like fatal with him or like what's going on so if anybody knows exactly what's going on with Ness book please comment below and let me know and uh, Ness if you watch this um, dude I hope you feel better and you know prayers out to you because we absolutely love seeing videos of you and Derek and you and Derek and Matt. Um, you know, you've always had this great quality of yourself and gift of being super funny. Um, and that's important in people's lives is to make people laugh, you know. Um, <clears throat> my mom always said, and she's such a wise, was a wise woman, um, I lost her to breast cancer in 2013 and my life's not been the same since. But, um, she's always told me that laughing and laughter, laughter was the absolute 
best medicine that you could absolutely ever have. And, you know, maybe as a kid I didn't understand that. But, like, now I understand that so well. Um, and I just wish she was here so I could tell her that. Because, you know, it's very important. Um, if you don't ever laugh or have a good time or anything like that, and, you know, you're just a Grinch, then life is very depressing. And it could be, you know, just, it's just not good. It's always good to laugh and have a good time. Um, it makes you feel better. It makes your life better. It makes people around you better. So, I'm ready to start seeing some more positive videos with um, Derek, Matt, and Nestbook. Um, so, yeah. Bring it on, baby. But, um, yeah. I mean, I'm just super ready for that. And, guys, I also want to mention, too, um, it is Christmas Eve. And I want to tell you guys this. Um, I was in the store this morning. And um, I saw two, you know, generations of, you know, women. So I knew it was mother and daughter. Um, and it made me miss my mom so bad, guys. Oh, my God. So bad. Um, but what I wanted to say is while being in this department store and seeing this, you know, mom and daughter, this piece of shit girl was literally talking to her mom so bad. Um, I just remember hearing her say, oh my God, are you stupid? Shut up. Like dumb shit, right? All right, for anybody that knows me, like, knows me, um, one thing about myself is I'm very open, blunt, and honest. All right, even if, you know, it um, bothers the piss out of somebody or whatever the fuck it may be, um, <clears throat> I am extremely blunt and... Um, that is just the way it is. So, me being myself, excuse me, I'm going to light me a cigarette because I'm almost at work. Um, shit. Hang on, y'all. Crap. Hold on one second. So, me being the person that I am, right? I was so mad, I can't even begin to tell you guys. Um, we were, like, I was right behind them, and I kept hearing her holler. And I looked up at that mom's face, and the mother was in there buying presents for her, her grandchildren, her daughter's children. I, and, and I'm assuming because the girl was a piece of shit and didn't work, because that's how it looked. Sorry, she pissed me off, so... Anyway, she kept talking to her mom so bad, and her mom just looked so pitiful. So, finally, I was like, I grabbed her by the back of the neck, and I was like, if I hear you one more time in front of me talk to your mom like that, when she's in here helping you and your children, I will smack the piss out of the back of your fucking head. You hear me? I was so mad, y'all. Beep. I need to beep out some of that shit. I was so mad. I told her. I was like, I will literally knock every tooth in your fucking head out. I was so mad, y'all. I'm sorry. But I was so pissed off. Like, do not disrespect your mom. I would cut off both of my fucking legs right now for just five minutes with my mom. Do you understand? Dude, don't do that. God, it pissed me off. Anyway, the point to this is, guys, if you have... Um, a parent, if, you, if your mom is here with you still, dude, respect her and love your parents and really embrace this time that you have because everybody does not get that. I would give anything to be with my mom 
and I just wanted to tell each of you Merry Christmas because I am at work. Um, I hope you guys have a good holiday and etc. So, anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye.